to pack with me. Shoving junk I don't need. In the bag so tiny. Overweight feet, sore back, hurt knees. Welcome everybody to pack with me. my channel or welcome if you are new so today I thought I would take you guys around with me as I prepare for my journey to go to Bali a lot of you guys actually requested that I make a pack with me video in all honesty I'm not even gonna lie I actually find these videos to be extremely boring but since you guys asked <laughs> that's what we're gonna be doing today I'm not gonna be like packing my entire check-in bag because that's just it's not that fun um but i will be showing you some things that i pack for my personal bag and my carry-on bag and i'll be sharing with you guys some tips and tricks that i have for like navigating to the airport and packing as you guys know i actually travel quite a lot so i have like a lot of different like travel products that i really like so i'm going to be showing you guys a lot of those today nothing is sponsored everything i bought with my money first thing i have is my passport cover obviously i have two passports because I've been traveling that long. The one that is old is so beat up and like worn down and that is because I didn't have a passport cover. So I do recommend getting one of these. And this one's so cute. I think I got it on Amazon or eBay. I don't remember, but I'll link it down below. So the first thing I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do my nails because they was ratchet. <laughs> they actually lasted a long time and I did them myself. myself a chocolate protein smoothie for breakfast and I'm just gonna keep like trying to get these off I don't even know if I'll be able to get them off and do them all in the same day <laughs> pretty cute but I'm actually really bad at painting nails so like I have paint everywhere I start off by taking out my luggage like a week or two ahead of time and I just slowly chuck things in there that I know I want to pack closer to when it's time to go I'll organize everything and like pack everything this just really helps because I'm super forgetful and I have a Cheeto for brain and I will forget everything I'm not gonna go over my checked bag but um it's like halfway packed the only two tips I can give you for this is like roll your items instead of folding them and stacking them on top of each other so you can actually see like which ones you want. My biggest tip for your luggage is dryer sheets. Guys, put a couple of dryer sheets in your luggage. Oh my god, it makes a world of a difference. There's nothing better than just opening your luggage and having this fresh scent of happiness. So I'm definitely attempting to bring way more accessories than I need. So I really need to go through these and figure out which ones I want to bring. I have this cute little jewelry box. I got this off of Amazon. I'm not going to Paris, but whatever. This is a piece from like a luggage cube set that I got off of Amazon. I know it's just a laundry pouch, but I'm going to end up putting my accessories in here. One thing that you can put your um, accessories in are these little like peel containers because they have like little separate slots. The only thing is like with necklaces, they tend to get tangled if they're like shaking around a lot. So just keep that in mind.
electronics, and this is more like camera equipment related electronics. Um, I've been using this little bag, I actually got this from the 99 cent store in America. It's really handy for like all my little chargers and like cords, but like bigger stuff like this, I tend to use my Totoro bag that I got from Mikiko. Thank you, boo. Um, I got a hard drive in here, like a little baggie of SD cards, and then I'm gonna put my mic in this one. And as for my lens, I actually just wrap it in a towel and then I put it in here. This is another piece from that travel kit that I got off of Amazon. And I'm just gonna put them in here because I like things to be together. If I was bringing my iPad, I would put it in here on top, like that kind of fits perfectly, but I'm actually not gonna bring my iPad this time because I just bought a new laptop, so i rather use that. Okay, so as you can see, I actually have quite a bit of stuff. Um, I tend to put a lot of stuff in my carry-on and my personal bag just because I'm one of those people that don't wanna be like, ooh, I need something and I don't have it. So let me just go over some of these items that I like to put in my bag. First of all, this backpack is my personal item. It is an anti-theft backpack. It has this cute little fluff ball. Anyways, it's an anti-theft backpack because you don't open it from the front, you can only open it from the back. So that way no one can unzip your backpack while you're not looking, nothing like that. It has many different compartments for lots of things, many zippers. And my favorite feature is probably that it can be like a side bag or it can be a backpack. So I bought this with my own money. I got it off of Amazon. Um, I'll try and leave a link down below if you guys are interested, but I freaking love this backpack. So let's start putting junk in here. So for the small little zipper in the front, I'm just gonna put like all of my chapstick, lip gloss, stuff like that. I have quite a bit and I don't put these in my makeup bag just because I use them frequently. Also going to put my Victoria's Secret roll-on perfume. This is awesome if you're traveling. A pen, you pretty much always need a pen. You're gonna have to sign some documents on the plane. And some lotion. Black people always be ashy, this is a must. As I said, it's an anti-theft backpack, so it opens from the back, not the front. There's a cute little compartment on the inside, and I'm going to put my passport and also a couple of other things, some Q-tips. I pretty much always need these. Like, I find myself like, oh, I wish I had a freaking Q-tip. So I just put some of those in the rubber band and chuck those in my bag. I have some face serum. This is a travel size from Kiehl's, because you guys know I love Kiehl's. So it's super duper small, this is awesome. I also have two travel size face washes from Kiehl's as well. Just in case I wanna wash my face on the plane or at the airport, you never know how long you're gonna be there, you never know what's gonna happen. I've had multiple delays, plane crashes, you name it. I'm also going to be putting in some makeup remover wipes. And lastly, I have just some normal wipes, so you can use this for like cleaning or your body, or if you have to go number two on the plane, you know, tissue ain't always, you know, enough. So I'm gonna be putting my headphones. Bracelet charger, you probably saw it in some of my other videos, like my uh, Coachella vlog. I freaking love this, my sister got it for me, and it's a bracelet and a charger. I have had this thing for years, and it just goes everywhere with me. Oh, so amazing. I usually wear it when I go to the airport, but just for right now, I'm gonna put it in here. I'm going to put my Victoria's Secret spray in one of these little slots, and some deodorant. I have this pill container with all my medication that I need. I throw that in there. I bought a disposable camera. I freaking love these. They're just so fun for creating memories. Reading glasses and computer editing glasses from Zilu. These have the anti-blue light coating on them so I can use them for video editing or just working on the computer. A brush, toothbrush, toothpaste, very important. Now this is another tip. When you go to the airport, the water is free. Like there's drinking stations everywhere. Just bring an empty bottle and you can bring it in through security. This one's actually really, really small. It's not like a normal sized one, but like I don't get that parched. So I'm gonna bring that too. Books, um, I try to only bring one book because they are obviously heavy. Um, this is the current book that I'm reading. It's about real estate investments. And finding properties that can actually generate a positive cash flow. I really like this book. There's another one that I'm reading as well at the same time, but um, it's too heavy and it's bigger, so I'm just gonna bring this one. Uh, this is just a little cute notebook. I use this to write notes 
Usually I put my camera bag in here, but obviously I'm using my camera, so yeah. My iPhone, which is awesome because this thing has a side compartment. I love that, oh my gosh. Another thing that I tend to bring, I know, is lemon juice, y'all. I put lemon on everything. And I really don't like the taste of water, so this helps with drinking water as well. Just make sure it's like sealed properly. And lastly, some snacks. I freaking love these potato chips. If you come to Japan, they're like more natural and they're just really cool. This one is so freaking important, oh my god. I cannot tell you how many times I need a towel. And that is everything that I put in my personal item for my carry-on bag. These two are more pouches from that travel set that I was talking about. It came with actually quite a bit of them. So in here, I have all of my underwear. In here, I have my socks and bras. And I like to put these in my carry-on just because it's like good cushion for anything that I put in here. And it'll like protect like my laptop and all my other items. I basically like to put any like fragile items that I'm too scared to check in my um, carry-on bag. Because every time I put something in the check bag, it it comes out damaged. Plus your luggage can get lost very easily. So anything that you actually care about, put it in your carry-on bag. And it fits really nicely in there. So here is most of the stuff that I'll be bringing. I have my underwear, socks, and bras in there, my laptop. Forgot to put the mouse inside of the electronics bag, but that goes up in there. Um, my passport does not go in there, it actually goes in my backpack. This is like a whole bunch of accessories for my new GoPro. I just bought a GoPro. I haven't even opened it out of the packaging yet, but I definitely don't want to put this in my check bag because I don't trust them. And this is just super heavy and bulky, so I'm going to put that in there as well because I have a lot of extra space. And lastly, always bring a jacket because even if you're going to a hot place, it's so freaking cold on the dang plane. I usually also put in a spare outfit, like some shorts and a t-shirt because, oh my god, so many things can happen at the airport. I think I just have really bad luck because the last time I spilled a whole burrito bowl all over my outfit and I had a white shirt on, it was a disaster. So here is my carry-on luggage. Um, it is a standard carry-on size. I got it here in Japan. It's one of the hard shell luggage and I love that it has the four wheels. If you're gonna buy some luggage, just make sure it has four wheels because it's very, very helpful of not breaking your back. I'm gonna put my laptop and then my jacket on top just to protect the laptop just in case and buckle it in. My electronics bag, the GoPro, and all of these GoPro accessories, um, I'm just gonna throw on top. And everything is very flat and fits perfectly. I still have this like little compartment if I wanna put some stuff in here. So here is my carry-on. It comes up to about my knee. Tip, I don't care if you think you're okay or not. When you go to check in for your flight at the check-in counter, do not bring your carry-on bag. These people will get you. Those people behind the check-in counter, they have a special relationship with the devil. So anytime that I go check in for my flight, I always hide my carry-on luggage because they like to charge extra fees. Oh, it's too big, it's too heavy, mm, I don't know about that. As you go through the airport, pretty much the only people that will charge you extra money for your bag is the check-in counter, okay? Those people are literally the devil spawned. Even if you get to the boarding gate and they say that your luggage is too big, it's too heavy, or it won't fit in the overhead bin, it's okay. They'll check it, but they'll check it for free. For free. Is that it? If you like videos like this, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. You know? Just one little click, one little click. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. That is it, you guys. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe so I can make more videos. And yeah, I will see y'all in Bali. Bye.